Body Nutrition Plan is designed for anyone wanting to do a body transformation. Males, females, vegetarians, and vegans. It's strict enough to keep you on track and give you the necessary guidance for success, but also flexible enough to allow you to fine tune your nutrition to fit your lifestyle and specific fitness goal. Balanced Nutrition is half of the Banex program of Balanced Nutrition and Exercise and it's a keystone for success in any fitness goal. Your body has one goal, and that is survival. It doesn't care about looking good or having fun. It wants to store food as if it were living in prehistoric times when food was hard to come by. Today, food is so readily available that we don't need to store so much in our bodies. However, eating is important in keeping your metabolism up because if you stop eating, your body will go into survival mode, shutting off your metabolism and trying to store and hold on to everything it can. This is why it's important to eat and eat a lot, whether you're building muscle or shedding fat. Eating a lot doesn't mean stuffing your face day in and day out. Rather, it means we'll be switching from the traditional three big meals a day to three primary and two mini meals per day. This will allow your body to spread out its intake of carbohydrates, calories, and protein evenly throughout the day, promoting metabolism and keeping your body properly fueled. Generally, you'll be consuming one gram of protein per pound of body weight each day and one to one and a half grams of carbohydrates respectively. Or you can skip the math and keep in mind my favorite rule. The portion of protein at primary meals, including breakfast, lunch, and dinner, should be the size of the palm of your open hand. Just look at your hand and imagine the fingers and the thumb disappearing. Now imagine your palm turning into a delicious piece of fish or chicken. There's your protein. For your carbohydrates, your complex carbs at primary meals should be about the size of your closed fist. For your veggies and salad, there's no limitations. Just make sure you stick to the rule of thirds. You will be following the Lean Body Program's rule of thirds for your meals. Cover one third of your plate with protein, one third of the plate with carbohydrates, and the other third with vegetables, fruit, or salad. Because fruits are high in sugar content, you want to eat them sparingly. If you include fruit in your midday snack and maybe for dessert, twice a day, you'll help combat your sweet tooth and get the benefits of fresh food. For protein, you are primarily going to stick with fish, chicken, and turkey. Stay away from red meats, only occasionally eating lean cuts. For carbohydrates, you'll be eating complex carbs, including brown rice, whole oats, beans, sweet potatoes, and whole wheat pasta. Complex carbs are better because they break down slower in your body as opposed to fast absorbing simple carbohydrates. This means complex carbs are less likely to be stored as fat in your body. There's plenty of nutrient rich vegetables to eat like broccoli, spinach, asparagus, peppers, and tomatoes. Fruits are a healthy dessert option. Consider choices like apples, oranges, berries, and grapefruits but keep fruit intake to a minimum. You can also use your vegetables to make a healthy and delicious salad, but stay away from unhealthy dressings, dips, or butter. You'll also be eating good fats found in olive oil, flaxseed oil, avocados, nuts, and fish. Steer clear of unhealthy fats such as saturated and trans fats found in processed foods. You won't be frying your foods with butter or oil, or using high sodium and high sugar sauces like soy sauce or barbecue sauce. You'll also be staying away from processed foods. They contain unhealthy fats and sugars or worse, hydrogenated oils. Some foods to stay away from include lunch meats, cheese, fries, chips, ice cream, and mayonnaise. The Lean Body Program is going to teach you how to make sense of the listed serving sizes, calories, and fat on a nutrition label. By understanding what you're buying, you can keep your nutrition in line, feel confident at the grocery store, and make a better plan. What's one of the biggest obstacles to a healthy diet? Planning. In today's world, it's so easy to go for fast food, eat out at a restaurant, or grab that unhealthy snack. You're going to get the tools you can use for meals at home or on the go to fit your lifestyle. With a little planning on your part, you can ensure that your food options are convenient, tasty, and healthy any time of the day. I'm not perfect, and I don't expect you to be either. We all deserve a treat here and there, and cheating during a diet is important in keeping one's sanity, especially when you're working so hard. Does this mean that you can cheat once a day? No. Does it mean that you can cheat once or twice a week? Yes. Just make sure not to binge or go off the deep end and try to separate your one or two cheat meals out during the week. In this program, you're going to get a good list of healthy cheat alternatives to many common cheat meals.
Now, let's talk about what you can and cannot drink. You'll be cutting out soda and alcohol altogether during the next 12 weeks. You need to stick to healthy drinks. For example, we all know what happens if you don't have water. You die. More specifically, water is important for keeping your body ready to perform multiple processes. Metabolizing food, maintaining energy, building muscle, and fighting off disease. So let's stay hydrated with at least 10 cups of water per day, maybe more if you're doing intense exercise. You can also drink tea or coffee as long as you stay away from sweeteners and high-fat creamers. This is a lot of information to absorb. I know. Remember, you can always go back to this episode or check out the seven day meal plan, recipes guide, cheat alternatives, and other nutrition documents we've provided below on this page. All the recipes you need for your seven day meal plan can be found in the recipes guide. You'll also find other great options for great tasting lean body meals. The seven day meal plan can be strictly followed and repeated for the duration of the 12 week transformation or you can use it as an inspiration for making your own 12-week meal plan. Just remember to follow the rule of thirds and eat the proper foods. For the complete hard copy version, you can also check out my book, The Lean Body Promise. That's it for the nutrition overview. Make sure to check out the other overview episodes before starting your 12-week trainer.